Tonto Tuesday, everybody. It's Tonto Tuesday Shop Talk. Uh, my carry for the day, not Tonto's. My everyday carry. Spider Co. Tenacious. Partial serrated, custom my car to scales. I use this only for box opening today. And this one, I didn't have to use. That's a good, that's a good thing. When I have to pull this one out, that means I've got some issues at work. Because this is my heavy duty beast. This is the Sox Seal FX Blackout with custom micarta scales. Just very comfortable in the hand. Absolutely love that. The good news is I didn't have to use that today. Now, I'll probably throw it. I won't show a video of it because I, I throw the knives that I carry. Uh, except for this one. Okay. So, what I did, I'm going to keep it simple today. I just went right inside a drawer. And I pulled out, the first one I pulled out is because uh, a very nice subscriber, uh, you're all nice, but he had, he had a question about the, uh, the top saw fixed blade knife. This is a special assault weapons fixed blade knife. He was wondering how, it, how comfortable it was in a medium sized hands. It just so happens I have medium sized hands. And I told him it was very comfortable, very doable, there's the sheath, the rotating clip. It's that Topps 1095 steel with a black finish, partial serrated. Okay, the scales on this is G10 scales. Not Micarta, G10 scales. There's your lanyard hole. There's the finger grooves. And I got medium sized hands, so you can see it's very doable. You got jipping right here. You got, it looks like a thrashing hole right there in the center. So I guess between that and your lanyard hole, you got something going on there. It is a Tonto blade. This is Tonto Tuesday. I have thrown this in the board today. I'm not today. I have thrown this in the board before. A few times, as a matter of fact. What I was fixing to say is maybe I'll throw it today. Okay. So I, if you're watching this uh, shop talk, this is the, I'll do a short video on it too. That's what I'll do. Let him see it in hand. Medium sized hands I got, guys. That's what it is. This is a great everyday carry. This is a self defense knife right here. There's no doubt about it. Of course, I have it on the horizontal carry. Mid section of the back is the way I like to do it. Although you can rotate this at an angle. I, have, I prefer that than straight up. So it's either angle or horizontal. Nice metal clip. It's not going to come off. Okay. All right. That's made in USA. Okay. Then I have, I pulled this out of my collection drawer. Did not use it. And the reason why it's not in circulation anymore. This is the SOG knife. This is the SOG spring assisted. This is the SOG Aegis Tonto Digi Camo assisted folding knife. It's a true deep pocket carry. Is that cool? Uh, GRN scales with that Digi Camo. Partial serrated. There's your Tonto. This is Aussate steel. Got jipping underneath here. You got a safety lock here because it is spring assisted. You got your actuation button right there. Bring it back down. Thumb stud opening. Very snappy, very cool. I personally like the older Aegis better. I really do. It's just, you got more blade. This is the Tonto, but you just got more blade. I just like the way it feels. Uh, just a great knife, it really is. That's the SOG Aegis Tonto assisted folding knife with Digi Camo. I got to get all that together for my short video. I'm going to do a short video on it. Again, that's in my collection. I do not use it. And it's one of my favorites, actually. Actually, if you look closely, can you see it? See the texture on that? It's not just uh, the Digi Camo, but it has a uh, texture right here. And like a uh, rubber or uh, some sort of inlay right there. Textured. See it? There you go. For a nice grip too. 
Very cool blade. Gosh, I feel like I got a mail call. I pull them out and when I get a look at it, that's the joy, that's the joy of it. You know, when you have a collection that you don't use, uh, when you pull one out like this, uh, it's just very enjoyable. Great knife, I wish they never quit making that one. Look at the jipping underneath there. Awesome blade, okay. And then I brought out one more and this is probably gonna be the one I throw. I might throw that uh, assault, the uh, tops saw too. I'm not sure. But this is the uh, Cold Steel Master Tonto VG10 Semi and has that modified sheath I did. The leather, okay. Also changed the uh, belt loop on it on this one so it all comes together. Not quite finished on it. Uh, this Thursday, I'll order a couple of, uh, I've done some research, uh, studying on leather, leather tools that I could use, only a couple of them, and some uh, conditioning stuff or, or whatever, the stuff to use for burnishing, and uh, that's what I'm going to do, buy just a couple more tools, just to have it. I do have to go back on all of them and do some uh, some uh, finishing up on them. But yeah, this is the Master Tonto. Has that beautiful Sanmai satin finish. VG10. It's razor sharp. Craton handle. There's a nice persuader on the back. This is a fighting knife right here, folks. This is a great self-defense fighting knife. Yep. Sure is. Great throwing too, nice balance. So I'm gonna keep working with my hands, see how it does. I might throw that today. We'll find out. Okay, that's a uh, that's Tonto Tuesday Shop Talk. Y'all take care and sog out.